All right, my peoples, I am once again doing another little bit of a video for, I don't know, let, let, let's call it kind of a, a ghetto rigging, you know, redneck repair, redneck, what, what I don't know, whatever, you, you classify it however you want. Um, I was having this issue where I could not get an overclock stable at all. Um, you know, I, got, I have the uh, AMD FX 6300. And, uh, it's just, you know, six core AMD CPU that runs stock at 3.5 gigahertz. If I remember correctly. Anyways, yeah, 3.5. Um, I could not even get a 3.8 gigahertz overclock stable. Um, and after a bunch of like Googling and everything, I discovered that it was basically, I, I came, I wound up coming to the conclusion that it's because my power supply is, isn't enough. Um, it's only a 550 watt power supply. I have, you know, I have the Vishera, which some Googling I've done, some links that friends have shared with me, you know, they, they can use over 200 watts, um, especially when overclocked. And I also have the uh, Sapphire Radeon HD 7970GHZ edition um, graphics card, which alone stock pulls anywhere from three to four hundred watts. So, you know, as you can see here, I, I've I I did get my issue fixed. I've got it running at four gigahertz, um, 1.35 volts. And as you can see here, I got my Prime 95 stress test results. I ran it for 12 hours. Um, I really don't have the patience or the other means to entertain myself for a full 24 hours, as they you know recommend for the sake of running Prime for for stability testing. But I ran it for 12 hours, no issues. Um, I have a 7.4 Windows Experience Index rating now, um, which before, and this is actually one of the things that clued me into what the issue may be, is every time I overclocked it, even if it ran prime fine for 8, 12, 15 hours, no issues, no hiccups, go to run the index rating for Windows, and it would crash during the Direct 3D 10 phase of the test um it would crash on on one of the one of the parts of that phase of the test every time and that's what got me to thinking that maybe i just didn't have enough power so what i've wound up doing is i've wound up using the uh one of the first generation xbox 360 power supplies to power half of my graphics card the, uh, this particular graphics card has two 8-pin um, power plugs. And so I, I decided to slave half my graphics card off of this power brick just to take some of the strain off of my power supply, which from more Googling that I have done on my own, you know, it's my power supply really only it's it's rated 550, so it probably can only really handle on a continuous basis 480-ish roundabouts there. So like I was pushing it. Like I uh, there's a website that I will include in the link, uh, include a link for in the description for this video, um, where you can go and you can calculate um, how much wattage, you know, how big of a power supply you need. Um, based on what you have for hardware that you're going to be powering off of it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you here with a, you know, with a webcam a nice quick little peek of what I got going on here. Um, woo, look at this camera. Wow. All right, so there's, there's the 360 power supply. And now what's even, what also is pretty awesome is I actually have it so that the, uh, that power, that power brick shuts off when my computer shuts off. Um, which is actually a fairly simple, um, if you actually screw around with these power supplies at all, you know, for the Xbox 360, but we'll, we'll bring the camera on down in here, and boom, 
I mean, it's it's not pretty. Um, I still got some prettying to do, but as you can see right here, I have it tangled on something. Woo! But yeah, there's you know there's all the 12 volt wires. Don't mind the duct tape. I am a fan of duct tape. Powering half my graphics card, and these actually these two uh, this black and red wire right here are actually for the 5 volt feed coming from my main power supply to actually trigger the on off standby modes in the uh, in the Xbox 360 power brick so I mean it was it was a pretty big pain in the ass to accomplish it all um, I'll also include a link for the um, wiring diagram which was actually somebody else's project um, that I use to actually figure out how to wire my computer power supply to the 360 power supply so that it would you know turn the power you know the 360 power brick on and off as required when my computer would be in turn on and off and yay gotta love it when Ada 64 wants to be stupid all right, well, that's the that's the end of this video. Um, links and such for those websites that I told you about. You know, the one where I got the picture for the you know wiring diagram, um, and the site for wattage calculation um, are in the those links are in the description. Um, do take note. I did my wiring a little bit different because the guy that did it. Um, the guy that I essentially copied, he wired his, you know, the on-off, you know, toggle for the power brick. He wired it up so that he could plug it into a Molex adapter for, like, the, the three-pin fan plugs. Um, so he could, you know, plug it in Molex, and, you know, leg off the... I, I've got a modular power supply. I wired it right to my power supply and I can unplug it from my power supply and that's all kinds of awesomeness there uh, but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video feel free to check out the links if you want to do something like this for yourself and have a good one